This is volume four of a series of books called Aircraft of the Fighting Powers, produced in Britain during World War II. Volume four is 1943 aircraft. Um, so volume one was 1940, volume two was 41, volume three was 42, volume four was 43. So presumably there's one for 44 and there's one for 45. And if you can get a complete set, it makes a really spectacular set of books. I've only ever had the one. When these books were new, they were quite expensive. They cost a guinea. Now, a guinea, um, as we're describing a particular type of coin, was a gold coin. But in this sense, a guinea was like 20 shillings, which in today's money is about £1.15. pence. But back then, really expensive publication. Hardback book, kind of cloth covered, deeply embossed with this gold lettering. On the side, you've got Aircraft of the Fighting Power Powers, Volume 4, and you've got this mobile logo, and then there's Use Morris Flex, flexible shaft equipment, some really great period advertisements in it. But the best part about it is the scale drawings in it. So as well as being of use to like civil defence observers and enthusiasts, it's also of use to the model making people as they were then. Because if you wanted a model aircraft, you could either go the expensive way and buy a model kit, or you had to get a piece of wood and a knife and make your own. That's what you had to do. And there's some really good scale drawings in this particular book. On the front, you've got this really nice art deco style, Mintex Aero, the friction line for every type of aircraft. British Belting and Asbestos Limited. But there's some really nice advertisements in it, so I'll have a look through it. I've only ever had this particular one, and as I say, Volume 4 is 1943 aircraft. It's no particular country, it's just aircraft of the fighting powers, i.e. the ones that were involved in World War II. So it was printed at the time. So it's very, very comprehensive, and it's very well detailed. So we'll take a look through one of these. If you can find them, they are a really good buy. So we'll have a look at this one. So, as you can see, you've got this really nice Mintex advertisement, Aircraft of the Fighting Powers, and you've got some really nice Metalastic North American Aviation. Deep Gorman, Parnell Aircraft, and you have a list of advertisers, Fox Electric Steels, Rotol. For bombing, consult the RAF. For electrical instruments, consult MIP Limited. Ferrodo, Westland Aircraft, Douglas Aircraft, and you have this advertisement for model kits, Super Solids by CMA. For accuracy, of design, completeness of kit and value for money, always insist on CMA solid model kits. Wholesale only. De Havilland Tiger Moth was 4 shilling and 11 pence. A Fokker was 8 shilling and 11 pence. Blackburn Skewer, 6 shilling and 9 pence. You don't see many of them nowadays. So all these advertisements for model, model aircraft books. And true scale 172nd solid model kits, Royal Air Force, American Air Force, and German warplanes. Model aircraft stores, Bournemouth. All kits contain fuselage cut to outline shape, wings cut to shape, tailplane, rudder, and where necessary, nacelles printed on balsa. Hard them were the days when you had to make your own stuff. Latest models, a Typhoon, priced two shillings. A Tomahawk, one shilling and tenpence. More advertisements. So we won't spend too long on this, but we'll have a flick through to the aircraft. And really nice advertisements. So you have Aircraft of the Fighting Powers, Volume 4. So you have Great Britain, Canada, USA, Germany, Japan, and Russia. So a typical one 
would be for example you have the miles all the description the performance etc etc so everything you need to know about it then you've got a plan the Oster and occasionally you have these really nice pull-out sections that's a Bristol Blenheim 5 so you've got the, the kind of side views of sections through it the section through the wing if you want to make one out of balsa wood etc and what I like about this one you not only have a really nice description of the horse glider you've also got this really nice plan of a horse and there's also the Waco or Waco glider somewhere the Lancaster Bolton Paul Defiant Miles Martinet Airspeed Oxford there's all these plans Fleet Wings, Beach Stinson Reliant Hudson, Martin Baltimore this is the the Waco Hadrian Glider and again you've got a really big plan so they are well worth trying to find there's literally all sorts in it Curtis Caravan again so a series of these books would be quite spectacular but you really don't see them so you have the Heinkel like the German one you have the Heinkel and you have the Junkers and again you have the really really large scale pull out I mean look at, look at the size of that that's the Junkers JU90S so you can imagine somebody whittling away upon getting the dimensions of the cross sections through it and Getting all the details right on balsa wood. The Blom and Voss. And again, this really huge plan. Stuka. Messerschmitt ME210. Heinkel HS 129, the Gotha Glider, and again, really big. Mitsubishi, then you have this really nice advertisement Aerodrome Preparation and Maintenance by Ransoms. Who were a company that made gang mowers, mold drainers, tractor plows, harrows, land levelers things like that you have more cotton bags for aircraft spare parts extruded plastics become a draftsman aeronautical careers joy plane products model finish besco sheet metal working machinery Velaroy. So it's a really comprehensive book as I said that the complete series would be well worth getting so that's quite something really full of paid advertisements so that's the aircraft of the fighting powers volume 4 1943 edition and they're well worth looking for if you can find them